man. It's been, dude, it's almost, dude, it's almost 3 30, man. We've been working hard, man. It's like awesome. You know, it's COVID crazy, right? I don't know. What are you doing later? You gonna swim? Oh, I'm, I'm glad this is almost over, man. How about you? I know, man. Uh, what do you think about this? Well, I'm not a cradle guy, so I don't need to hear Yeah, what's up, man? Where are you from, man? Around, just around, right? Yeah, I know. Because, hey, do the. Right? Yeah, we, we, we did do it, right? Yeah, I know. And you actually know, how many cradles did I do? Maybe one. I didn't do any. <laughs> I didn't do any. I was like, oh, I know, right? It's weird. It's weird. I thought, you know, it's, it's so weird. Dude, I heard. You know what I mean? I know. Dude, have fun moving. It's going to be great. Dude, I haven't seen you in a while. How you been? Right? And then the coach goes, what are you guys doing over there? Come on, do the move. You're like, what? Wow, what's his problem? Right? It's real easy to be like, don't matter right now. Doesn't matter. I can't wait to go live. I just can't wait to go live. I can't wait to go live. And then get the shit kicked out of me because I don't compete on it. Well, how about we practice a move, right? A concept which is safe for everybody. Every single dude in this room can get better from this concept. I promise you. I promise you. You're going to roll around, somebody's going to die rolling, you're going to get the scramble, and you can be in this position and be like, oh, I'm falling over, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. But if you drill it over and over, regardless if it's a takedown, if it's a setup, if it's a defense, if it's an escape, if it's a ride, if it's a turn, if it's just flowing back and forth, if it's just, hey, we're just going to move around and wrestle, just do it. Just do it. Don't talk. Don't, don't stop and like, this be like, but dude, it's oh, it's amazing, right? <laughs> no, it's not amazing. What's amazing is how you're just cool standing around not doing anything. Right? You have to be wanting to progress. This is an opportunity. Coach Eric talks about being grateful, right? Think about the scope of our country and our state, and you guys get to be here and wrestle. Right? You are giving yourself an advantage. But you, if you don't do stuff in your allotted time, you're not getting the advantage. You're not nurturing your love for wrestling. And I'm not mad at you. You guys are doing a great, you're doing a really good job. But I'm just saying there's times I'll be like, yeah, man, I know, dude, I love you so much. You guys so proud of you. I love you. I'm like, dudes are like, oh, you got me. Or you're like this, or Indian leg wrestling, or whatever. What we're doing, like, what is that? What even is that? What is that thing? It's the dumbest shit I've ever seen. It's not cool at all. But it's not even cool. It's not that guy. It's not, oh yeah, it's like, do, 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 It's not cool. It's literally not even cool at all. Right? Like, guys, watch. Where's Joey? Come here. Look at this cool little scenario. Look, we can do this, and if you go out and not try it, and you never, you never get good at it. Right, so we can be down on that. Here's another cool one. Look, I'm here, I scoop, I lift, I turn. This is a tangible wrestling scramble drill. What I just did, what happened in the match. You'll be here like this, you might this foot, and he hits into you. Boom, and now you hip up. Now you put him here, now you turn. Right, boom, there you Tangible wrestling, all real. It's a real thing. It's a real, like, we're in this scenario, and I slide off, I get this foot, I lift it. He might get this foot. I turn, boom. Now I drive my heel in my butt. Hey, there's two. Look. Oh, what did I get? What did I get to? Turn. But if you're like, I can't wait to go swimming. And you never do it, how are you going to get better at it? You're not. You know what I mean? Okay, so we have to do a little better job of managing your time and working the technique that we're doing. You have to do a better job of managing your time and working the technique that we're working on. Like Coach Miller said, you may be like, I'll never do that. I'll never do the boot skill. But you should be doing it because that's what we're working on. Right? Like if you're in school and you're like, I'll never use mathematics. And you sit there and you don't do your mathematics, you get an F. And now your grade point average is bad. 
you're like, yeah, but I should, I never will use that. I get it, but you should do the math, because that's what you're doing. Or stupid art class, I'm never going to draw a picture of fruit in a jar on a table. Oh, dude, totally get it, you're right. But here's the deal, the teacher, who has an authoritative position, ordered you, like a boss will, ordered you to do something, and you go, yes, yes, ma'am, yes, sir, and you try your best, and you're like, oh, oh God, I'm trying, and you just do it, and you try your best. Now, psh, whatever, I can't, I can't do it. What am I gonna, when does this apply to my life? It applies to your life because it happens in real life. Unless you're just that gangster and that cool, and you're that street wise, and you can like manipulate people and become a rapper or whatever and make a million dollars, you're probably gonna have to like have a landscaping job or work at a fast food place and then go to high school and then you go to college and you get a little job and you work the deal and you wear work boots when you landscape, not bands. You don't wear bands, like, if you wear work boots, because you just should. When you go to a job interview, you dress up, you don't roll under a hoodie sweatshirt, like, oh, it's about what I do, not what I look like, right? No, it's about what you look like. It matters. Just like it all comes back full circle, it matters when we're working on something, and you're like, dude, I know, man, it's really cool, dude. Dude, the is good, man, we're good, man, we're good. But you're not getting better at the move. You guys get all mad at me. Like, Go, do the move. I want people. But they're doing whatever they're doing. So why? So why? Right? Little guys, focus more. Big guys, be a good example for the little guys. Then when we wrestle live, be tough to compete through every position. And then you'll be like, dude, that camp was awesome. Love it. That camp was great. Dude, we're better. I feel better. I physically feel tougher, I feel better, I feel like I got better. I learned a lot about myself. Not like, oh my gosh, that, I wonder if that one lady's gonna bring the popsicles again. Right? Okay, I think it's almost time for live, right? Now listen, while we're transitioning into live, here, listen, make this expectation for yourself. Do not be afraid to wrestle people. When you wrestle, don't worry about making mistakes, but wrestle through stuff. Wrestle through stuff. Okay? Gritty wrestling, just wrestle. Stay focused, stay tough, stay relaxed, and just wrestle. Wrestle through positions. Okay? Be smart. Reset, get to an open spot, and get to going. Get going again. Get going. Offensive wrestling. Make things happen. Get used to making things happen and working through mistakes. That's what you have to do. You gotta open up and wrestle. Open up and wrestle. Open up and wrestle. Hey, when you're getting like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now you just wrestle. You just wrestle. Bite your lip, grit it down, just go. Just wrestle and compete. Hey, and then when you get off to the side, you can win for a little bit. You can like, get me. Then all right, little guys are out. And then you go and you wrestle. Because one match, you're gonna be in the big deal, in the gym, where everybody hates your team, they hate you, and the kid that you're way better than is gonna pancake and put you to your back, and you might have a sniffles, or you might have a case of the flu, and now you're down five nothing. And now it's like, uh, 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 or you're gonna be like, man, I just gotta knuckle down and get, get the next score. I gotta get the next score. I gotta shift momentum. Oh, now I got it. Now I'm on track. Now it's 5-3. Now it's 5-4. Now I'm up 6-5. Now he's gotta get out. Now I'm riding him hard, and that guy breaks. Right? And then it'll apply to your life, like Coach Eric talked about. College, underachievement, made things happen, made adjustments, and just got tougher and got what he wanted. I mean, per se, right? Want to be a national champion? Come on, All-American, sweet, man. You little guys, you learn that, you're going to be hammers. You bigger guys, you figure that out, you'll get jumps and you'll get what you want. But we got to do that when we're practicing. At camps, you practice that mentality. Practice that mentality, okay? Hey, let's get groups of three. Let's get groups of three, okay?